Okay, whenever you're ready. I'm ready. All right, we're going to start with a safe start. To do a safe start, we're going to show the examiner that the bus is in park, the parking brake is applied. We are going to turn the key to run and wait for the wait to start and ABS light to come on and go off. And both of those lights have came on and now they went off. So now we're going to start the bus. The bus has started. This completes a safe, safe start maneuver. After we've safe started, we are going to go and check our brakes. We are going to do our brakes in the following order. Parking brake, service brake, and air brake. So in order to test the parking brake, we make sure it's on, and it is. We're going to put the bus into drive, and we're going to attempt to move the bus by applying some gas. The bus does not move, so the parking brake has held. That completes the parking brake test. Now we're going to test our service brake, or foot brake. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave the bus in drive and release the parking brake. And we're going to allow the bus to roll forward or even give it a little bit of gas to move it forward. And then we're going to apply our service brake. And the bus stopped straight, stopped quickly. So that tested the service brake. The service brake test is complete. Now we're going to put the bus back in park, reapply our parking brake. We're going to turn the bus off and prepare to go do our air brake test. So we're going to release our seatbelt, take our key out. We want to take our key anytime we leave the bus. Mm -hmm. We want to grab our chocks and prepare to go chalk the rear wheels. We will put the door in emergency mode. So we'll test the emergency mode of the door. We're going to check that the glass is not broken, cracked, or damaged, that the seals look good, and that the door operates properly on our way out. We have just set the chocks on the outside rear wheels. As we enter the bus, we're going to check a few things. We're going to check that our stairwell is clear, not obstructed, that the steps are in good shape. They're not coming unattached or loose or pulling up. We're going to check our clear entry lens that it's not missing or damaged or cracked. We're going to check our handrails that they're firmly attached, holding on good to the bus. As we step in, we're going to check that our three Reflective triangles are here and firmly attached. We're going to check that our first aid kit is here and firmly attached. We're going to check that our body fluid kit is here and firmly attached. We're going to check that our fire extinguisher is fully charged and firmly attached. As we step into the bus, we're going to put our door back to normal mode. We're going to check over at the driver's compartment and make sure that our spare fuses are there. As we sit down, we're going to check our seat belt. We're going to make sure that it is firmly attached. That it adjusts. That it latches. And that it's not ripped or frayed. Now we'll get our key back out. And now we're going to check our, test our air brakes. So we want to put the key in the run position so we can hear any and all alarms. All right, our first test is going to be when we push in, we're going to take our parking brake and release it by pushing it in. After the air settles, we're going to watch our two air gauges and make sure that they don't drop more than two PSI in one minute. Now we're going to say that a minute has elapsed. So we're going to do our second air test. We're going to put our foot on the service brake and put steady pressure on the service brake. After the air settles, we are going to time it again and make sure it does not lose more than three PSI in one minute. Now we're going to say a minute has elapsed. So what we're going to do, we're going to pump our brakes or fan our brakes as it's called to bleed off air. When the air pressure gets to about 60 PSI, the alarm should come on. 
we are going to continue to fan the brakes until it gets down to between 40 and 20 psi. At that point, the air brake should reapply and actually pop out. So here we go. And there we have our alarms have activated at 60 psi. We're going to keep pumping the brakes down until our parking brake activates. And there we've heard and seen our brake activate. So now we will start the bus to begin the process to rebuild our air pressure. The bus has started, the air pressure is starting to rebuild. We will point out right here on these two gauges. When it reaches approximately 60 PSI, the alarm should go off. And once the air pressure reaches between 120 and 140 PSI, the governor will cut out. As that's rebuilding, we will point out that our water temperature is rising. It's at a normal temperature. Our oil pressure is at a normal level. And our DEF is more than adequate because it's three quarters full. And we can see by the 13.9 volts that our alternator is working and there's no alarms in that area. Good? Very good. How would you end the test? Well, you know, we could keep going, but... <laughs> 